Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to look at the chain reaction as an extension of nuclear fission. So let's get going. Now, you might remember seeing the chain reaction in National 5 Physics, but let's look at it again. So it says here that if a nucleus undergoes induced nuclear fission, the released neutrons can go on to hit other nuclei, causing further fission reactions and the cycle repeats. This is called a chain reaction. So it relies on the process of nuclear fission, first of all, in order to generate more neutrons, which can then go on and cause more nuclear fission reactions to happen. And we say that the process may be controlled as a nuclear power or nuclear fission reactors or uncontrolled to form nuclear weapons. And the picture here shows a nice breakdown of a chain reaction going on. So the process starts with induced nuclear fission where we've got a neutron incident on a target nucleus and this can cause the nucleus to split into fission fragments plus neutrons and energy but it's these neutrons that are released that can go on to cause further fission reactions to happen. So these two neutrons are going on to hit these two other uranium nuclei which again will split and release more neutrons and these neutrons can then go on to hit other uranium nuclei and the cycle and process just repeats. Now you can imagine that as each reaction releases energy, as you get more and more reactions being produced, the energy being produced will start building and start multiplying. And that is why in nuclear fission reactors, we need to be able to control this chain reaction and actually control how many neutrons are going to go on and cause more fission reactions. So we can use something called a moderator to absorb neutrons and stop some of them from going on to cause fission reactions and that keeps a kind of safe limit on how much energy is going to be produced. Whereas in the case of nuclear weapons or nuclear bombs, you can imagine that if this chain reaction was not controlled in any way and was just allowed to continue to build up energy and release energy, then you would get to uncontrollable amounts of energy which is going to cause great destruction to buildings and even entire areas. Now I'll just show you a quick simulation to help you visualise the chain reaction. So here we've got a neutron and then different nuclei and this is our target nucleus that's going to be hit first by the neutron. So remember we have induced nuclear fission going on first where the neutron is going to hit into this nucleus but it's the neutrons that can go on and hit the other nuclei causing more neutrons to be released and more energy. So if we click play here you'll see the chain reaction taking place. And just to show you that again... So you'll see that at each stage the number of neutrons being released is being multiplied and the amount of energy being released is also going to increase there. That's all for this video folks, thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a like, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.